Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. So surprisingly, the week before reInvent, there's actually been lots of announcements, including predictive scaling for EC2, powered by machine learning. Route 53 Resolver for hybrid clouds. There's another layer of protection for S3. There is a new machine learning specialty certificate. And we announced the winner of Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Ryan Krunenberg. And me, Faye Ellis. So you can now use the power of machine learning to accurately predict when you will scale your EC2 fleets using auto scaling. And this is achieved by using data from your actual EC2 usage, and it's further improved by using billions of data points drawn from AWS's own observations. And the machine learning model will need about 24 hours worth of data to make predictions, and it's automatically re-evaluated every 24 hours to create a forecast for the next 48 hours. So it's available now with a single click and a simple three-step wizard to get it started. AWS launched Route 53 Resolver for hybrid clouds, and this is a new feature that enables bi-directional querying between on-premises systems and AWS over private connections like Direct Connect and VPN. So this means that you can use Route 53 to handle DNS lookups for names hosted in EC2, as well as public names on the internet, and even systems located in your own data center. And this is a great new capability because it really simplifies host name resolution for customers running hybrid cloud environments. So there's now another layer of protection for S3, and it's almost impossible to make buckets public accidentally. When you create a bucket, by default, the bucket and all the objects within the bucket cannot be public. Even if you click on the Make Object Public button, you're going, you're going to get an error message. And to make the objects public, you have to actually go into the Edit Public Access settings on the bucket itself and enable making the objects and buckets public. Unfortunately, this broke almost every course in our catalog, and I've spent most of the last last week fixing these. However, they're all up to date now in time for reInvent. AWS have announced a new machine learning specialty certificate, and Ryan and I sat the beta exam this week, and it was pretty hard. It really tests your ability to design and implement machine learning solutions in AWS, and the ability to select the appropriate models and algorithms, best practices around training your data, and hyperparameter optimization as well. And we think this is going to be a great certification for anybody interested in machine learning or currently working in that space. Now, the exam is, has been released in beta, and it's probably only going to be available for a few weeks, but you can register for it right now. So on to Guru of the Week, and the correct answer this week was B, and lots of you got it right, but the person with the best answer is Simon McKinnon. And Simon is a developer at MLC Life Insurance in Melbourne. So congratulations to Simon. There's an A Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and hand-signed card on the way to you in the post, and you're also in the draw to win a free ticket to reInvent for 2019. So the new question is now live on our Facebook page. Please see the link below. And that's all from us. We are going to be at reInvent all of this week on our booth. So please come by and say hi. Keep, Keep being, being awesome, awesome Cloud Gurus. And we'll see you next time.